Hey guys, it's Dave again. Um, seems like I say that every time I make a video, but I guess it's true. I am here again. Um, and it's Friday. I got my coffee, and that means it's time to do a video. So this time I'm going to talk about another uh, application for OS X. Um, as you can see right here, we're looking at my Ustream broadcast console. And here's the feed, but you can tell that there's a little something extra that I've added. Down here we got a clock. Over here, if I press play, it'll show what song my iTunes is playing. So there we go. Pause that again. And then up here I have a uh, link to my blog. So you obviously can't do this stuff by default with the Ustream TV uh, broadcast console, but you can do it with a free application called CamTwist. And it lets you do a lot of pretty cool stuff um, for streaming video, especially uh, easily that you might expect would be a little more difficult. But... Um, it's also used, I think uh, Chris Perillo uses it at live.perillo.com, and I know some other Ustream streamers do. Um, obviously, I'm not that hot on Ustream right now. I got nobody watching, but that's good, because nobody can see me make mistakes and stuff right now. So uh, basically, I just wanted to walk through Cam Twist and show you how you set up some of the effects and so on. I haven't really messed with a lot of the uh, stuff, mostly just the text overlays, but it'll, be, it'll give me a good chance to try some of the stuff out as well, so... Cam Twist is right here. I'll go ahead and open it up. And this is what you get. So right here I have, these are the ones, these are the effects that I've set up so far. Um, and then here are some of the other ones you can use. Obviously you got your uh, video sources, so the webcam would be my eyesight. The desktop would show your desktop, obviously, slideshow, movie, blah, blah, blah. But right here I can go in and change um, the way some of this looks, and I'll try to keep the picture there too so you can see as I uh, change things. So here, say for instance I wanted to change the size of uh, my iTunes song. I just move that up a little bit and as you can see it's a lot bigger now. Change the color, go over and make it green. There you go, on my stream, live, right away it switches over. Um, change that back to white I guess. Change that back to, I think it was like 14 or something. Not a big deal. Um, and from there, I have my text up here. That's all this is. It's just a text. You can put in anything. So if I got rid of that and did uh, hello world, hit enter. And there we go. Now it says hello world up here on the top. Um, clock is pretty much the same thing. You can change things like font size and color. Those are pretty straightforward. But what I wanted to really do is test out some of these other ones, um, some of these other effects that I haven't really had a chance to mess with very much. So I'm assuming they edit your video and uh, just mess with it a bit, but we'll see. So if I go ahead and click this one, it's called Bubbles. Okay, so there you go. There's some bubbles coming up on the screen. That's kind of cool. Uh, let's see, what else do we have here? We'll do Flame On. All right, now it looks like I'm on fire. That's pretty pretty handy I guess try matrix now I'm like in the matrix there doing a little matrix code action and let's see it has gotta be some cool ones here this one I actually this one actually might be cool so I'm assuming what this one lets you do is uh, add an RSS feed uh, URL and it brings in uh, RSS articles that'd be cool I might like to put a uh, maybe a feed to one up or joystick or something a gaming site so I could uh, scroll some gaming news or I could put in dig and do some technology news and so forth I'll go ahead and get rid of that and weather bug Let's see what it's like here okay so this I could put in my um zip code and presumably it would show the weather what the weather's doing of course it's right on my nose right now one cool thing about um, cam twist 2 is you can move things around so without losing everything over here go ahead and move this down if you see over here this shows the temperature position and I can move this around so if I wanted this to be over here and then down here we have the icon positioning that shows uh, what the weather's doing. Can move that up. 
There you see. So you can uh, mess with everything and move it around, which is pretty cool. Um, same thing with the clock and so forth. Of course, I'm going to have to go back and fix all this stuff after I'm done, but that's all right. So yeah, it's pretty cool. I mostly just like uh, having the iTunes stuff rocking because I'm always listening to music when I'm streaming usually. So um, I like to have that going. Um, and as you can see, it updates live. So if I skip to a different song, it's on random right now, so I have no idea what will come up. Every time I hit that, pops up my new song. It's pretty cool. And then I pause it and it says I'm paused. So really that's just a brief overview of what you can do with Cam Twist. Like I said, it's uh, pretty basic stuff, at least for me, because I haven't really messed with it very much. But I'm looking forward to jumping in a little bit more. And um, If you ever feel like watching me stream, I don't stream all the time, but I try to remember to do it while I'm you know, at my computer working or whatever, you can go to ustream.tv slash Um I also have a couple saved video videos that I've done there. I'm trying to keep it sort of gaming and technology related, my stream anyways. Let me get that clock out of the way so it's not right on me there. Move it down a little bit. Okay. And um, really that's it. Uh, it's a pretty cool application. Like I said, totally free, which is nice. And I would definitely recommend trying it out. Even if you're not a Ustream streamer, maybe if you're just doing YouTube videos, I'm sure it works the same exact way. You could probably import it through iMovie and add some effects to your movies. And um, But yeah, uh, Ustream.tv slash DMChemic. Also, you can check out my blog. Um, it's www.davechemic.com slash blog. And uh, we'll see you real soon. Take it easy.